Hello and welcome to this informative video on how to build a FBV quadcopter. In this video I'll be covering all the parts you need to build a quadcopter and then the additional parts required to make it an FPV or first person view quadcopter. I'm going to start with the basics and then go a bit more advanced. First of all, the most important thing you need is a good soldering iron. You're going to use this for all of your bolts, fixing your quad, building it, rebuilding it after you crash, etc. So that is very important. I have a Magnum, um, that's one of the best brands, you cannot go wrong with it. And let's dive in. First of all, you'll need a frame. Now the frame can be literally anything. There are hundreds of frames on the market at the moment and almost all of them will work. This is up to you to decide on a frame that you like, the frame that looks good to you. Um, one thing I can say is that it's important to choose a frame that is durable. Second, you'll need a flight controller or FC. This is the brain of the quadcopter. There are many flight controllers on the market. Uh, again, this is up to you. I'm not going to cover which specific flight controllers or parts you need. This is just an overview. Flight controller, important. This is the brain for your quadcopter. Next is motor. You need four of these if you're building a quadcopter. If you're building a tricopter, you need three. If you're building a hexacopter, you need six. But the most common configuration is a quadcopter, so you need four motors. Next, you need a speed controller, electronic speed controller, also known as an ESC. You'll also need four of them. The ESC sends power to the motor and it receives a signal from the flight controller. The flight controller tells the ESC how fast to spin the motor. The ESC takes the power from the battery and tells the motor how fast to spin. Next is a power distribution board. Now this thing looks very complicated as do most of them but basically the P DB power distribution board all it does is it takes the power from the battery and then distributes it to all of the speed controllers and to the flight controller it's important to note that some flight controllers take 5 volt in which case you get 5 volt from the power distribution board or it can take power directly from the battery next is your receiver now the receiver generally comes with your radio that you buy and you get different types of receivers. For example, PWM, PPM and SBUS. This is a FR Sky SBUS receiver which receives the command from the radio or the transmitter. It tells the flight controller what you command you're giving it and the flight controller then tells the ESCs and the motors what to do. Next is your battery. This is your main power source. You get different types of batteries, different voltages, different cells, but the most common is a lithium polymer battery and this will power your whole quadcopter. Next is props. There are a plethora of props on the market. Uh, this again is completely up to you to choose what you want to fly but the important part is you get counterclockwise rotating props and clockwise rotating props. You'll need two of each for your quadcopter to fly. With the parts that you see here you have a functional quadcopter that you can fly line of sight or loss. To make an FPV quadcopter or a first person view quadcopter, you need to add three more components to the actual quad. The first is an FPV camera, which stands for first person view camera. This is an analog camera that sends a 
close to real-time feed to the goggles. Next, you'll need a video transmitter which transmits the signal from the first person view camera to your goggles. It transmits generally on 5.8 GHz GTX, which is the general racing frequency and flying frequency most commonly used. Without an FPV antenna or 5.8 GHz antenna, the video transmitter will burn out. This is the last part that you need to have a fully functional first person view quadcopter or FPV quadcopter. Additionally, to fly a quadcopter, you'll need a radio. This is a Tyrannus. You'll need goggles. These are Fatshark Dominator V3s with LaForge receiver module. Generally, if you buy Fatshark goggles, they come without the receiver module. The receiver module receives the frequency, video frequency sent by the video transmitter and displays it in your video goggles. With all the components here, you've got a fully functional FPV quadcopter. Additionally, it's useful to have a few tools at hand since you'll use them throughout your building as you progress. Here are some side cutters, some sharp nose pliers, some insulation and double sided tape or electrical tape, some wire, a turn energy multi tool with all kinds of screwdrivers and allen keys in it. And there you go. Now you know exactly what you need you can go and order all the parts you need. Most of the time, if the parts are decent quality, they'll work together and you won't have a problem. I hope this video helped you. Now go and enjoy your building and flying.